I try to stay positive, but I'm honestly like heartbroken. They like physically hurt my chest after we lost. So, um, yeah, but you know, I still trust God with everything. But I don't, I don't think that's how the game should have went. It's definitely a season to remember, man. Even though we didn't end it the way we wanted it to, uh, it was it was fun. Anybody was in that moment, I mean, it it was suck, you know. And all I gotta do is just say thank you. Uh, to those young guys for getting me this far and taking me on a journey like this and having the opportunity to play in the Sugar Bowl. I can say, I can like honestly say on camera that I gave this university everything I had every day for 365 days. I can say that and honestly mean it. And I think a lot of our guys did. You know, tears is tears is gone. So, uh, but right now it's kind of it's just frustrated um, knowing that we, we could have played better as a team and things like that. I was just so sure we were going to win it, we were going to finish it. Uh, but, um, you know, sometimes stuff doesn't go your way. And I'm not going to soak on it, you know, and I'm not going to look at this season as a loss. Like, we, I came to the University of Texas, and I left it in better shape than how I came. We went all the way up, uh, up into the last play. And, you know, I'm just proud of my guys for never giving up. Uh, not once did I ever believe that, you know, until that clock hit zero that we didn't have a chance. You know, just like Jalen said, these guys never lost faith. You know, they believed that, that we were going to win that game. And it was just how. <laughs> that was the biggest thing is, well, how are we going to do it? And we, we know we're going to, it's just how. Been through the ups and downs. I mean, that's a part of life, just going through ups and downs and just sticking through uh, what God has planned for you. And I can't just be more thankful for uh, the opportunity I had this year to uh, be great. And like I said, I gave it to uh, my teammates because without those guys, uh, I wouldn't even be here in this situation, you know. Man, so came from five and seven. I was here with the team with five and seven. Um, and I knew that feeling, so and just coming to be where we are now is just like big steps. So kind of like, kind of hurt knowing that we were came this far and just come this far, you know what I'm saying? We came into this season to be champions, and they are. They're Big 12 champions, and they should be very proud of that. Uh, they were they were a second away from from playing for a national championship, and so there's a lot to be proud of on this football team. Uh, unfortunately, in the game, you know we, we dug ourselves a hole uh, with some self-inflicted wounds. I didn't think that uh, we were being stopped. I think it was just self-inflicted stuff. Like we had fumbles, we had uh, block. I held somebody. Like we had just penalties. It wasn't. I don't think we were being stopped. I think. Um, we just had self-inflicted wounds, and um, you can't do that when you're playing a really good team. And that team was really, uh, they're really good. You know, we had a lot of self-inflicted wounds, starting with me. You know, that's it's not acceptable. But um, you know, we just kept getting behind the chains and uh, just shooting ourselves in the foot. But you know, at the end of the game, you know, uh, Coach Stark alluded to it. You know, we showed great resilience today. Um, you know, down nine points with two minutes left and. We have a chance to go win the game. You know, it shows you how much uh, this culture means to us and the brotherhood. I don't know how to say this without sounding weird. I just felt like we felt magical the whole time. Like we felt like it was already written. And um, no matter what happened, I didn't know it was going to come down to the last like 10 seconds, we were six yards away. But um, we felt the whole, we didn't waver one time.